A 20 minute, 5 second game. See if we can practice the answer process. Push through the centre, let's grab. Oh, the opponent's playing real quick. Okay, let's go here and take here. Shall we attack the pawn? Don't really like this kind of position that this ends up in. So I've got to try and do it differently. Okay, let's just take. X-ray through. Take. Castle queen side with a check. Not a fan of this position at all. Uh, let's put pressure onto the bishop. King has to drop or come here, supporting the bishop and the pawn. Hasn't done that. Okay, let's take with a check. Let's get this power base. Oof. It's going to take, yeah. So he's uh, tripled up the pawns. This is going to get hit. Okay, so. It's not set in stone, is it? Take. Bring the rook across, attacking this pawn. So it's not really clear, is it? It's not that clear. Let's take. And attack this pawn. Nothing can defend, but he can always come and attack our pawns with his rook. This is the slowest of move, isn't it? Yep, so he's attacking for an attack. Not a fan, really, not a fan. Takes, he comes down, takes. We take, he potentially takes, then, yeah, it's a bit messy. If we go and defend, he's going to have time for his king to come down, whilst we're moving our king across, and then he gets to defend the pawn, then we bring our king across defending, and that's a whole waste of space then, isn't it? I mean, the rook comes and puts a check on, king moves out of the way. Do we take the chance? Takes. Take. Get me arrow, try it. Takes. 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 Does he put a check on first? Well, whichever way. He ends up taking. Takes. Could bring our rook here. Comes down with a check. We go up. I'm taking the chance. Let's do it. That's what we've seen so far. That's why we're all up to. Rook down, check. King up. Uh, he can't chase us past this point because the pawn's protecting. Oh, he's gone defending the pawn. Don't really want my rook stuck there, do I? Let's bring it here. Might be potential for an exchange. He's going to move his king over. We need to get our king over. Okay, he's um, coming down attacking pawn, so could let it slide, push this pawn, he comes down, takes, we take, comes down with a check, we move up. And let's just do this. Got a pawn majority on this side. He's just gonna dance, isn't he? Maybe we just get the king hidden here. The constant checks. It's not. Let's do this.
Look, I can't come here to put a check on. Let's hit the portal. Put a check on his king. Doesn't mean a right lot really because we can just go here, can't we? Pawn can hit the king. Or this pawn can hit the king. But I'm probably more reluctant to push this because he could swing back around again and start putting checks on the king there. So I'm gonna go with this pawn. We could look to see if we could get his rook off, couldn't we? Could bring the rook here, and if something else happened, then we could might just probably move the king back, might. Mm -hmm. It's something or nothing. No, let's give it a try. It's a move. I can always just move it back again. idea is this, if the rook takes, obviously the pawn takes, king takes, is that going to work though, actually, I mean if that doesn't work properly, so I'm, I'm giving up the pawn aren't I, I've got a pawn advantage here, oh I think I'm reframing that one, maybe this pawn needs to go up before we do that, move this rook out of the way so we can get the pawn over here so some funky sacrifice we'll go here check on the king no there isn't is it let's go with that so they've moved that rook to avoid the rook check thing I'm gonna take so now we do have a passer We've still got the king's protector, so he's probably looking to swing round the back somehow, just to annoy the king. Yeah, it's coming round the back somehow to get to the king. Just push it anyway. Or in fact, just to get behind the rook as well. The pawn, sorry. They really have slowed down. I mean, they were like bulleting out those early moves. So what we keep saying though is that the opening really, you should be thinking about your end game. So the end game opening is a good thing to be thinking about in terms of well, when I open, I'm thinking I've got to think about how I'm ending the game. I'm surprised they didn't come down there actually. Round, round, behind the palm, putting checks on the king. Great, he's there now, so I'm going to hit the group. Let's move this. 
the on. So this rook is just gonna have to stay on this file now. And yeah, we've got to check on the king, pawn taking. Rook's defending. Let's bring the king up. Start pushing this pawn. Check on. Good push here, it goes behind. We don't have, have anything else supporting. So let's just take a moment. King could come across here. Rook could go. Oh, put a checkmate. That's checkmate. Can't come here, we can't go there. Whoosh. Excellent. I always think I'm playing half decent and then the Eval Bar goes, yes, Mr. Casual man, he ain't that good. Let's have a look and see what we need to work on. Captures, captures. It's happy with us. I'm happy with that anyway. That's all pretty straightforward. I don't really like, I'm not really a fan of this type of position on the board. Um, I think I've fallen foul to quite a few bad positions um, but it's usually when the knights are still in on there as well and somehow some way it's, it ends up being a little bit weird so I am trying to practice understanding what mechanisms give them the advantage in that one okay so knight comes up yeah so that was a nice two on one there I thought the king might have come down to support bishop and then get the rook involved as well so that gives us a clear plus one and we're undecided at this point but then they triple the pawns gauge bras on our side at the moment okay so it's between up and down okay so that decision was not too bad don't really like locking the rook in either but um, it's not saying it's too bad and let's have a look. Let's see. Check, check. It's dropping down a bit though, it's dropping down a bit, isn't it? But I felt comfortable doing that, so I'm alright. Even though the gauge bar's dropping, dropping, dropping. <laughs> I'm putting the check on. I'm just looking for the major dips. I don't think it should be okay now, shouldn't it? Oh yeah, I was thinking that the rook coming down, down the bottom, and the gauge bar is not showing that, so maybe they were right. Okay, let's go, 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 and that's all pretty straightforward. Nice one. Okay, fairly comfortable with that.